Now it's a fast growing industry that can offer decent returns, but it's being plagued by scammers impersonating legitimate businesses. Tonight, how to know if you're being duped. Who would have thought? A container gold mine, you'd say. <laughs> yes, definitely. Something like that, that's for sure. These sturdy walls of steel are hot property. You can do anything with a shipping container, right? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. How big is this industry? It's a big industry. From storage to cafes to homes, you can even turn one into an outhouse. The search for shipping containers out of the box. We're moving about 500 containers a month. We're selling them generally around anywhere from about 3,000 through to, you know, 4,000 for one of the containers, something like something similar in the background here. But sadly, someone's been watching. We get quite a few through the week, um, easy up to half a dozen, if not more. Um, we'll rock up and go, you know, where's my container? I've handed you all this money and now you're ghosting me. And yeah, it's, uh, it's not good. Scammers are holding the industry to ransom. Businesses are losing money and thousands of customers have been duped. Oh, they should go to jail. Martin, who owns the Sydney-based Welding Men, needed a shipping container to store his work goods. So I find a company online and I checked, it was on Facebook and I decided that I, I, I contact them and I, I wanted to purchase their container and they seem to be legit. But this site was a mirror image of an actual company. Nearly $4,000 later, no shipping container arrived. Did you think this business was in Australia? Yes, because they had the address somewhere near Newcastle. I think they purposely do it further away so people don't go visit them because it's just a container. What do you want to see? Look, they have gone to a lot of effort. Justin Withers owns one of the companies used by the crooks. He says the scammers' efforts are scary. Just at the moment, if you look up odd shipping containers on Facebook, there's 11 different pages, and obviously we've only got the one Facebook page, but they've copied our logo, copied our images, the whole lot. And it gets worse. Some of these websites uh, that I've had taken down have even gone to the extreme that they've put up at my home address where I live with my wife and three-year-old daughter, and, you know, which is obviously a concern because, you know, we don't want people who have been ripped off knocking on our door. We soon found ourselves on a Facebook page for a supposedly Queensland-based seller pretending to be Oz Shipping Containers. It'll do a 10-foot container for $1,900, almost half the price. Of course, it'll be easier if we pay a holding deposit. The scammer even takes a gamble and says we can go and have a look at the container. And that's where the wheels come off. The address he provides leads us here, ABC Containers. Kelly, are you selling the shipping container today? Not today, I'm not, but I can. <laughs> Kelly's from the real ABC containers. Shocked, not surprised. We've got a, a whiteboard here in the office that's got a list of about 20 online container scamming companies that we know of that are using either our address or, you know, like you said, they're, you know, associating themselves with our business in some form or another. And none of them are real. None of them exist beyond a computer screen. She says ABC alone has been approached by more than 100 victims. Oh, at least. Easy. Yep, if not more. They're gutted. Um, absolutely gutted. We follow up our online chat with a phone call. It says ABC Containers, the location you've given me. Yes, that's correct. We work in the same, uh, in the same depot. You work in the same depot, yeah? Yes, that's right. Oh. Well, I just rang them and they said they've never heard of you. Really? Why are so many people online saying that you're a scammer? I don't know. That's not true. It's not true. Even the police are investigating you. How do you feel when you take the money of hard-working Australians? Hello? Luke Stevens from Port Containers says the scammers have been operating for two years and it's getting worse. 
It was mainly a lot of people just ringing up, frustrated that they've lost money. So th this this hurts, yes. There's not much of not many nice things you can say towards these people other than they're just scum. The family-run Platinum Hardware in Sydney's West lost $6,000. George and son Charbel are speaking out to warn others because it appears impossible to shut the operators down. Once a transaction was made from Dad, uh, no communication whatsoever, um, no emails, no contact, no messages, no calls, zilch from these people. None of them will see their money again and wish they'd listen to the often repeated advice. If the price just looks too good to be true, it probably is. Justin has lodged a complaint with Facebook to get the pages impersonating his business taken down. But guess what? Facebook decided not to delete all the imposter pages.